When it comes to launching new products, very few companies do it with as much splash as TaylorMade. Whether it's painted faces or yellow feet or flying faldos, they know how to draw attention to their new gear. TaylorMade Golf is part of the Adidas family and has been one of the top manufacturers in the game since the mid-1990s. The brand stands as the number one driver in golf and officially took over that spot back in 2005. But aside from its domination of drivers, the past 18 months has seen TaylorMade release many cool new products such as Rocket Balls, the new Lethal Golf Balls, the Addy Zero Golf Shoes, and the R1 Driver. While the products are innovative, TaylorMade has been doing everything possible to create disruptive advertising campaigns, meaning building content that consumers seek out rather than pushing the standard commercials that interrupt their favorite TV shows. Their first event came at Torrey Pines in the Farmers Insurance Open, where Dustin Johnson, Jason Day and Brant Snedeker flew cardboard images of themselves wearing the new Addy Zero shoes. Just two weeks later, Snedeker went on to win at Pebble Beach while wearing the Addy Zeros. These shoes are, you know, I think they're eight ounces less than, than the shoe I was wearing, and, and I love the shoes that I was wearing. I put them on straight out of the box at Kapalua um, to walk 36 holes in these things. But I could tell a marked difference in my, in my energy level at the end of the day, the way my feet felt at the end of the day. And I definitely think it's an advantage over guys that aren't wearing them. So, I mean, this, this is something I've come to expect of Adidas. They keep outdoing themselves every time, and Adi Zero, the new Adi Zero shoe is, is no exception to the rule. When you're wearing a size 9 shoe, it, it, when you're talking about steps that are being walked on a golf course, like Tory Pines right here, when you're walking about 13,000 steps, that's going to equate to about 15,000 pounds of lifting your legs, which is which is an issue because why we're always tired at the end of the round, where we're lifting 15,000 pounds. So if we can give you back or take away about seven or 8,000 pounds, that's a big advantage. And especially the tour players have all said the same thing. I can't believe how great I feel at the end of the round versus how tired I used to feel. Yeah, I think that's the closest thing to flying um, that I could possibly get to. Just a few weeks later in Los Angeles, TaylorMade had skydivers jump out of a helicopter with R1 driver heads in hand as they made a special delivery to Sergio Garcia, Dustin Johnson, and Pat Perez. The event showcased TaylorMade's Operation Game On, a campaign where it helps in the rehab of wounded war veterans through the game of golf. Since 2009, the company has provided more than $120,000 in financial and equipment support to veterans of American wars. Being able to be out here and really work with veterans and be able to give them, you know, kind of hope and joy and something to really look forward to with the rest of their lives again is something that's so important and so special to our company. As you can imagine, having a driver delivered via parachute is something new for guys like Dustin Johnson and Sergio Garcia. I've seen a lot of clubs be delivered before. This is kind of a unique one. Have you ever seen something like this before? Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a club delivered via parachute. <laughs> um, it was interesting, but it was a lot of fun to see these guys, you know, parachute in, um, something I've never done and really don't have any desire to do, <laughs> but it's cool watching people do it. Obviously, to, to be able to, to help you know, these, these veterans and uh, for the wounded uh, warriors, um, it's, um, it's an honor. Uh, they, they give so much to us and put their lives uh, down the line to, uh, to help us. So, um, you know, it's the least we can do. Earlier this year at Pebble Beach, TaylorMade offered golfers a free bucket of balls if they agreed to demo the new Rocket Blades. The event attracted big time stars such as Clint Eastwood, greatest hockey player who ever lived, Wayne Gretzky, and even Notre Dame football coach Brian Kelly. The event also had a charity element to it, as described by Jason Day. You know, this week we, you know, have a fun thing going on on the 17th hole where the pros we get to uh, get the chance to, you know, if we make a hole in one, um, fifty thousand dollars goes to our charity and fifty thousand uh, dollars goes to the Monterey Peninsula Foundation. Um, so it's kind of fun that TaylorMade, you know, gives back as well. And I think a lot of guys and a lot of amateurs, amateurs are going to have fun this week wearing the bucket hat. Finally, at Doral, TaylorMade launched its Rocket Balls Ear campaign that stems from the company's claim that Rocket Balls Stage 2 is 10 yards longer than last year's version. All over the course, fans found signs with additional IER written across them, as in the club hit it longer than before. Even Sergio Garcia got into the act. All right, Garcia here. I want you to be in the best shape possible for Bay Hill. Get down there and give me 20. Come on. You're going to kill this thing. There you go. Looking good. 